I was challenged to go against waves of masked swordsmen, all while upgrading my own troops, turret defenses, and even evolving into the space age. Yeah, should be fun. You know, I've always wanted to fight Genghis Khan. I just never thought I'd really get the chance to. But just to be safe, let me make an egg rifle. He's already got freaking sword wielding enemies. That can't be good. All right, more income. Money makes the world go round and he's attacking my base already. Oh, this is an uphill battle. What are the odds I win this? High, low, somewhere in between. Well, I'll tell you right now about the amount of <laughs> on my screen. It's not looking good. He's using his god power. Why? Was it something I said? It's fine. I've got my clubman, my rock thrower, and my egg shooter. I can come back from this. Maybe. I've saved up $1,200, upgrade my tower. Now I just need to save up some more dollars for another turret. Although troops and rock throwers aside, I'm kind of beating him back because of this. Oh, but he's, he's bringing out spear throwers. All right. Maybe I should just drop meteors on him. Die, you stupid Romans. Why is Genghis Khan leading Romans, actually? I never really thought about that historically, but it doesn't line up. How we doing? We saved up enough money? Cool. Buy another egg rifle. No, wait, I'm so close to being able to purchase one. Please, get him. Yes, go. Two egg rifles. Is this enough to keep me alive? No, but it's enough to let me hang in there, I think. Like I said, fighting an uphill battle here. Maybe I need a girl on a dinosaur. She shall save us. And they were all lightning strike and murder. Okay, well, try it again. Girl on dinosaur, go. Do we win? Wait, she's winning. Yes. It might just be the help of all the egg troops, but who knows? Oh, I can evolve. Yes. I think I'm finally on an equal footing. Yeah, we have the same tower now. I no longer have to be bullied. Sell my egg rifle. Buy a guard. Increase turret damage and range. Oh, it's beautiful. Our back's no longer against the wall. He's upgraded. Our back is back against the wall. That's fine. Worst case scenario, I cry myself to sleep. Nothing new here. It's a lot of people you have, buddy. You mind if I just... <clears throat> Anyways, yep, nope, lightning. Yeah, how's it feel, jerk? Yeah, not so nice. More gold, increase infantry damage and armor along with my range. Because now theoretically my troops should just be a little bit better at least. I mean, I'm not expecting a cakewalk here, but I'm not also expecting to get my, you know, teeth stomped in. Maybe I should upgrade my infantry. Nope, I do not have enough money. Yeah, that's too many troops. Kill them all. Wow. That worked out great. All right, more infantry damage. And then just spam infantry men. I want to collect all the raining gold that's coming down from the sky. He's got the raw eagles. He's dropping flames from above. All right, well, some things are short-lived in life, and that was one of them. This is fine. Because I'm harvesting the gold from the sky, I can now get... 30% more income from everything. I also get that star power, which if the game just wants to give me a little bit more of it, please. Oh yes, yeah, star right on him. Evolve, we're both in our Egyptian era. The playing field has equaled out once again. Get that blue star, please. How much does it cost to buy? Oh, golden eagle's only 1,500, but big bird. Well, I want that one instead. Also get my priest unlocked. That is a scary amount of troops just lined up right there. You know that, man? What if I, oh no, he evolved. That's fine. I just need to bide my time. If I can increase my support range, I think now this system works where I put two people in front and my wizard will start shooting. Yes, the ultimate shield. That's a lot of stuff. You know what? No. Temples activate, absolute murder feud. Yep. Quick, construct another tower. Why must we fight Merlin? I'm pretty much your grandpa from the looks of my wizard staff and everything. Oh yeah, big bird. I can probably also sell the guard and buy another big bird. What do you know? There should be a nice amount of defense. Oh, I'm so close to actually being able to evolve. All right, more turret damage. And I, oh, all my men are dead. Oh, wait, evolve. Now I'm in my medieval era. Everything's going along nicely. Unlock this arena, I need footmen. I am lacking a severe amount of troops in comparison, but you know what? I'm still hopeful. How much damage is he doing to me? 43, but I'm doing like 100 to him. Wow. Is this the era where I finally get to turn it around? Genghis Khan, the world's greatest war general of all time, will bow in my feet. Also, probably a good idea if I increase my turret range. And then I'll just buy these upgrades since I'm not in a dire strait yet. Could that be a mistake? Who knows? What else should I upgrade in here? Maybe my infantry's armor, making them even more tanky? That's a great idea, me. Thank you, me. I'm gonna have to talk to a specialist about that conversation I just had with myself. This might be a bit cheeky, but I think if I shoot my arrows down and they- Okay, they finally hit them. They just killed like 14 people right there. Did you see that? Huh? I was gonna say, if I think if I rain my arrows down, I might be able to attack his base somewhat, but now I'm in his turret. Turret range. <laughs> Sometimes I don't think things through really well. Oh, Griffin thing, go out. Oh yeah, that looks menacing. Oh, I've got $5,000, I'm sorry. Build a fourth, Never mind. like I said, I don't wanna build that. I will try and max out my turrets though, I'm broke, okay. What if I just max spam Griffins? I either made a grave error, or I've won the war. It's really, there's never an in-between. It's gonna be one of those two. <laughs> Although, so far, 
looking like everything's going out pretty well. Look at all of them stacked up right there again. Can I archer rain down on them and kill them all? Hopefully. Yes. I'm <laughs> it's so cheap. And I, oh, $8,000. Fourth tower constructed. And then I guess up my AA damage and armor. Oh, I was not looking, but they are getting close to me. Okay, wait, how much damage do my turrets do to these guys? Let them have it. Oh, they don't, oh, wow. I think I go untouched. I'm just farming money off these poor innocent souls. The best way to do it. Oh, I can evolve myself too. Wait, it's this area. Yes, large cannon. Now I'm really about to start farming everybody. I can probably buy another large cannon. Oh wait, not quite yet. There it is. Tell you what, man, I'm just gonna go double speed. Keep spamming troops over here. All right, that's a new, oh, he evolved too. All of a sudden, I might find myself in a predicament. Sell my big bird for my third large cannon. You got him, turrets. How much damage do I, enough? I do enough damage is the answer. See, this mass spamming one single troop at a time. Well, Gengi, that's, uh, well, suboptimal. You want to do something like this, friend. Ten troops. Oh, okay, you've got horses. How much damage? 88 to 91? Ha! This is why you upgrade your infantry units, dummy. For some war general, you sure are stupid. Oh! Wait, sell Big Bird for my fourth and final large cannon. Who'd have thought that worked out so spectacularly? Oh yeah, forget that if I buy black powder for a thousand gold, mind you, I can just make sentient bomb cannons. Weirdly enough, sentient bomb cannons was my nickname in high school. Man, I do 144 damage on crit hits. This is like watching two siblings squabble, but the older brother always wins. I like that everyone just stands still, you know? Everyone makes sure they get their ones. It's a system of honor, respect, stupidity. Anyway, bombs away. Yeah, it's just, it's raining bombs. How? I don't know. Take it up with God, not me. I'm just a guy who's got some sentient cannons. Are these, wait, are these armored troops? Can I just upgrade these guys to be like crazy stupid? How much damage do they do? 112, 85, 104? Yeah, no, that's stupid. Go. No, I can almost deal base damage. Oh, I was so close. It's fine. I just need five sentient cannons at all times. Come on, we're so close. No, he dropped his bombs. You jerk, have at thee. Meanwhile, I'll upgrade my support damage and my armored armor. No, that's 4,500. Hang on, we're almost there. Something will die. There it is. Hey man, I'm just gonna go double speed for a second and then go get a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Don't do anything crazy. Later. All right, what happened? Oh, I can evolve. <laughs> in my military industrial complex era. All right, sell the large cannon, buy the double rocket launcher. Two of them, but then also buy two machine guns. Check out this damage. That's a lot. And he, oh, he evolved with me. Genghis Khan, you might not be able to touch my base anymore, but at least you can keep up with my evolution rate, buddy. And for that, I think you deserve a good pat on the back. Anyways, enough flattery, infantry damage maxed. Send out 10 gunmen who use guns. I guess, well, yeah, gunmen's kind of in the name. Oh man, can I touch his base with this actually? Wait, that's an a decent amount of these guys. Okay, a little gremlin with that. Get out of here. What's the base damage looking like? Oh yeah, it's kind of shredding down. Everything going well? All right, well, whenever you do a bombing run, I guess I'll die. That's an option. Cool. That's when I send out my little knife freak. Oh, he sent his out. <laughs> We're perfect mirrors of one another. How can we do this? All right, max out my turret range. And then I guess AA damage. So I'm feeling maybe I should have just grabbed a bunch of machine guns. My rocket launchers don't even get a chance to do anything. Well, the good news is still getting a ton of kills. Oh, his grenade is able to actually hit me. And here I thought I'd be safe from everything. Infantry armor. Go 10 infantrymen. I need to unlock the tank. Maybe I don't. My infantrymen are kind of eating him alive. And I, ooh, I can evolve. Screw the tank. I'm in my space era. Oh, that's right. They have a predator freeze a third form thing. Unlock it. I just need a bunch of money now. And luckily he's sending it right at me. Come on, Mr. Khan. We can do this. I'll send out spider infantrymen to just kind of help collect things. And then I'll use my leftover money to, well, just keep buying upgrades. I wonder how much one of these laser cannons cost. 3,500? Sure. Oh yeah, I think I also have a god beam, right? Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Is that enough to finish all my upgrades? Yes, I'm perfectly maxed out. Literally, I just got the achievement. Well, you know what that means. Go Evo 1. Clear them out of here for me. Along with all these gunmen. Oh, look, another laser beam. Who'd have thought? Should I just flex on Genghis Khan and buy all plasma cannons now, too? Yes. This is a crazy space battle I'm witnessing right now. Kind of winning it, too. Oh, no, no. I'm losing it. I'm losing it now. Oh, God. My preparations are almost complete. And that's... Oh, a god beam. 
You used your god beam at the worst time, idiot. Come on out, my friend. Allow me to clear your path, if you don't mind. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, giant laser blasts. They're so fun. Send in a little spider guy to collect all the cash on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, look at his health. Oh, it's going down. Even if you killed him, I have another one. Well, oh, hi, Genghis Khan. You're about 14,000 centuries too late, man. Can I just laser beam him, actually? Do you die to the god ray? Oh, you'd get 1,500 damage dealt to you, and then the rest from that guy. Some general you are, man. Next, can I fight Napoleon? 